Hello everyone. One of the questions that's uh, mostly asked is, uh, you know, if you filed uh, for H-1B lottery, uh, you know, how do I know if I've been selected or not? So there are a few ways, right? For the first way we would know is if you would receive H-1B receipt notice in email, uh, if it was filed in premium processing. Again, you would not know it as an individual, but your employer or your attorney would get this information, right? So that's one way. Second one is, um, you know, you could get a physical copy of the receipt notice, H-1B receipt notice, if you uh, filed in regular processing. Again, this also would be sent to the employer or attorney, right? So both of these will take time. So if it's uh, email, you would get in the first, uh, you know, few weeks and uh, receipt notice can take slightly longer. Usually US is announced the dates, you know, when, when they will actually come in the payment processing and, you know, um, so you can expect the receipt notice by then. Now, the third option is that uh, you see the H-1B filing uh, fee uh, check cashed. What it means is, you know, it appears in your bank account of your employer or attorney, and it would usually have a receipt number on the back of it. So again, you also need here also you need to check with them, right? So these are uh, some of the three ways, right? And if you are a master student uh, and in OPT or STEM OPT and in CAP CAP, so there will be updates to your service record. Uh, so the way you would see is, you know, you would OPT end date would be updated to September 30th. Usually if you're in cap gap, uh, this is very important, right? For you to stay in the country until September 30th. So, so you get automatic cap gap extension if you are selected. So if you're not selected, you would not get cap gap ex extension and it will be only till June 1st. So that is the thing, right? So here also you need to ask uh, DSO for this. So this is how it appears uh, in the survey portal. Uh, so you can log into survey portal, uh, you know, and check it. Uh, again, you know, you, you can ask your DSO for sometimes, but if you can log into the survey portal, which you can do as an OPT student, you can see that uh, the active STEM OPT, you know, the updated date to 930. So, you know, another option is, you know, you, I mean, the way you get there is you click on employment section and then you would see the active and inactive so this is somebody who has uh, had a you know stem opt extension so when you expand that you will see the date extended as you can see in the arrows so again these are some of the ways you would know if you're selected in lottery again you need to rely on your employer or uh, you know you need to rely on your dso you know or you can log into one of these things so there is no way you would know if you're not selected in lottery uh, other than these options so one of the last option is you know if you you know get rejected notice then you would know you would you have not been selected again for all of these you are dependent on others you can't call uscss to check that oh i filed h1b or my employer filed h1b was a selected or you know uh, that that doesn't happen so you don't have the right to call because it's not your petition even though it was filed on your behalf so those are some of the ways again thank you for watching and subscribe for updates